Welcome back to Quantum Conundrum. This is just the 1.5 episode. I'm just gonna go and read the how to play menu, and I figure I, I'll upload it because why not, if you also want to see what the how to play menu says. I think it might actually mention something about the other dimensions, so spoiler alert, I suppose. I don't know if we'll learn anything about that, we'll see. So, yeah, let's get into it. I'm actually recording this in 1080p now, just to try it out, because I've been having some editing issues with 1080p 60fps, where it keeps lagging and freezing and crashing Vegas Pro and stuff. So hopefully that won't happen, and yeah, let's just start reading how to play. Quantum Conundrum is a game of interdimensional problem solving. Your uncle, Professor Quadrangle, has gone missing in his mansion. Use his newest invention, the interdimensional, uh, sorry, interdimensional shift device IDS, and navigate through his wacky experiments. Save him from his dimensional doom. General controls. Press mouse left click to pick up objects. Some objects are too heavy to pick up. Your reticle will expand when something can be picked up. Oh, that's interesting to note. So, what? Why does it make a scribbling sound when you hover over this icon? It's not when you move over anything. Whatever, I'm confused. If you are holding something, you can drop it with mouse left click or throw it with mouse right click. Hello? There we go. Weird. The IDS device. Find dimensional batteries to gain access to new dimensions. Place batteries in the battery receptacle to gain access to your dimensions. That's very redundant, but okay. Shifting dimensions. Your available dimensions are shown at the bottom of the screen. Press the button next to the dimension icon to shift to that dimension. And yeah, you can see here there's like one that's fluffy, one that's iron, heavy, something, one that's time, probably slow motion or something, and this one reverse gravity? I don't know, we'll see. But uh, I did notice that these are kind of on weird button commands, it's like Q, E, 1, and 3, which looks oddly similar to using R1, L1, R2, and L2, or the shoulder buttons on an Xbox controller. So this is definitely made for a controller, but I'm gonna play it on mouse and keyboard anyways, because I just feel like it. I don't feel like this is a good controller game, a first person game, no thanks. What the? That is weird! You saw that, right? You could hear that! I don't know what's going on here. Shifting dimensions continue, or continuation, I'm not sure what that exactly is shortened from. To return to normal dimensions, press the button corresponding to your current dimension. Tip, you can also press 2 to return to normal, alright? Replay level mode and goals. Each puzzle has a goal time and shift goal. Beat the goal time by completing the level quickly. Beat the shift goal by using fewer dimension shifts. Okay, that'll be interesting. You can easily retry and repeat puzzles to beat the goals and set leaderboard records. Alright, replay individual levels from the level select screen. Replay level mode and goals continuation. Replay level mode can be accessed from the level select menu. Just select the puzzle you want to play in that mode. At the end of a puzzle in replay level mode, you'll be shown your results and given the option to restart the puzzle or return to the level select menu. Tips and hints. If you're stuck, try using all your available dimensions. Don't forget any. Don't forget that normal is a dimension too. It can be very useful. Tips and hints continuation. If you're having trouble grabbing objects out of the air, you can hold down the grab button, mouse left click you'll automatically grab anything nearby. That's a very helpful tip, actually. Listen to your uncle, who'll give you important tips as you play. And there we go, that is the how to play menu. And that is gonna be it for this video, I just wanted to read that to make sure I go through everything. I like help menus, I like tutorials, so that's it. Thanks for watching, and I'll be back with episode 2 of Quantum Conundrum. Bye bye!